we were in the Five Points room in the Black American West Museum, and this room highlights the history of the neighborhood that we are in. Five Points neighborhood is the oldest neighborhood outside of downtown. The trolley used to run down Welton Street in the 1890s, and instead of putting on the marquee the name of all the streets, they marked Five Points on the marquee. So there were five corners where the Capitol Hill neighborhood and the Five Points neighborhood converged. So we have a lot of businesses and entrepreneurs and folks that lived in this neighborhood. We were called Harlem of the West. There was a strong jazz presence in the neighborhood. The picture of George Morrison and his band. Was George Morrison was one of the catalysts for the jazz in Five Points. This is the Rossonian Hotel, which is currently being redeveloped. It was a cornerstone of the jazz story here in the Five Points neighborhood. This neighborhood was redlined, so resources were intentionally pulled away from the neighborhood, and we had folks in the neighborhood that made sure the infrastructure was secure and sound. Our community sustained itself and, and continued to thrive because we had so many different avenues of resources. You know, on, the, on one block you might have a physician and a plumber and a school teacher and a ditch digger and a taxi driver and all of these folks on one block. And they all supported each other and helped each other through their lives and their experiences. Some of the businesses that we had in the 2500 block, 2400 block, 2300 block have now been replaced or are in the process of being replaced by apartment buildings and other structures that, I don't know. It's extremely difficult to watch the, the landscape change so radically. Yeah, extremely difficult. Unfortunately, it's a challenge, I think, to slow down construction because developers and money are coming into the neighborhood, which is supposed to be a good thing, I guess. But at the same time, it's tearing apart the communities, it's pushing people out of the communities, and we're losing a lot of history. And so the Black American West Museum, part of our, our mantra is to preserve the history of African Americans in the West and we collaborate with the Blair Caldwell African American Research Library and Stiles African American Heritage Center in preserving history from, from these different perspectives. But it's, it's a, to me, it's a matter of life and death that we preserve these stories. Our children need to know about their ancestors. That's a critical, critical piece.